How's everybody doing? Welcome back. Uh, so today I got everything uh, unboxed from Gemco. So what I did uh, and what this video is going to be about is setting up central air for your fish room. Uh, so basically the way to filter the tanks when you're doing multiple tanks, in my opinion, is to do by sponge filters. And a sponge filter just sits in the tank. Uh, that's going to clean your water. It's going to grow beneficial bacteria. And it's also going to do surface agitation where the bubbles are blowing hitting the top of the water, it's gonna agitate the water and let gases get out of there. Uh, so basically just a filter. As most of you guys probably know, I just uh, redid my fish room or I'm in the process of redoing it. So I had a wall of fish tanks on custom stands. I sold the whole rack and now I still have some individual tanks that are all on black wrought iron stands. Um, I'm gonna be moving all those, uh, maybe even tonight, uh, but I'll probably do a separate video on setting those up. Um, they're already set up. I just need to drain them and move them and then fill them back up. So basically when I'm doing my water changes, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, but just today I want to go over my order from Gemco. I ordered my pump, my PVC, my air tubing, all that good stuff. Uh, so that's right here in front of me. I'm going to turn the camera down. I'm going to talk about some of the things to get and kind of the layout. So if you guys are looking to set something up or to kind of upgrade your system, uh, this is the way I'm doing it in the way I've done in the past. So I know this works. This is not, um, I bought the stuff and let's see how it works. Um, Gemco is a great uh, business and you can get a lot of pumps through them. They sell a lot of different things. Um, but I'm, I ordered a pump. They're pre-made PVCs. Uh, this is one right here. So what it is, you can buy PVC, uh, drill holes and put these little um, taps in. So that's where you put your air tubing. Uh, but these are already pre-made. I highly recommend getting them pre-made. Uh, saves you time and, and if you value your time, it saves you money. Um, and then these are going to attach to hosing. Uh, so this is going to go in the wall. I have clamps that holds it on the wall. All the um, air is going to be above the tank so that way you don't have to worry about if your power cuts off uh, water coming back to those valves. So as long as your pump is above where the water is, you don't have to worry about that. So that's important. Um, but we're just going to go through all the products here, what they cost. Um, how I want to lay them out and then in a future video you're going to see the whole setup uh, with the aquariums and the air uh, So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So before I show you the products I want to show you this a uh, little sneak peek at the fish room what it's going to look like and what it's going to be housing um, It's important to have a plan. Uh, don't go ahead and buy all these things without knowing what you want to do with them Because um, they're very helpful on the phone if you have an idea of what you want before you call them It's gonna be a lot easier. You're gonna save time. You're gonna save money and it's gonna be looking a lot better and a lot more efficient. So what I want to do here, I have a wall here. It is seven feet, 17 feet long. Uh, I'm going to do a 20 gallon aquarium here. It's going to be a salt water tank. I'm going to have two 29s and I'm going to run two sponge filters on each tank and I'm going to have access to doing a breeder box uh, hanging on so I can put an air tube on those as well. Um, here I'm going to have four 55 gallon aquariums. I'm going to have access to doing two to three sponge filters per tank. I can even stack them too high. Uh, and then over here, I'm have some 10 gallon tanks, which is one sponge filter each. And that's gonna be kind of my shipping tanks. Uh, down here, if you guys are just reading any of this, uh, just looking over myself, um, these are what I wanna house in the tanks. That's a little bit further on. You don't really need to know that stuff. Um, but it's important to know in this distance, I need at least seven outlets. Between here, I wanted eight to 10. And then here, I needed four. Um, that's going to be important because instead of buying a very long PVC or multiple PVCs, drilling them yourself, uh, measuring that, and then they're not really looking perfect. Because um, right here, I'll put it in front, you already saw this. These are already pre-made. They're distance out, so it's not exactly where your tank is going to be. But if you base it around these, it's going to be a lot easier to know that, say, I have eight outlets on this, whatever it may be. I know I can put one here. If I get 12 outlets, I know I'm going to have more than I need. Um, then I can kind of space them out. So here I know I have, I think I have eight, eight and 12 um, for the pre-made units that I made. And then I found out that the eight units are a foot and a half long. This was a two foot unit. This was a foot and a half. Um, so I can minus that from the distance of the wall. And then I can buy tubing and clamps that go in between these. Uh, and then my pump will actually be in the middle here and it goes up and then it splits off. Uh, so knowing all that, where your pump is going to be, uh, how many air tubes you need, how many units, the distance in between, that's all very important. Then once I come down to the end of that wall where I had those uh, shipping tanks, it's going to make a turn onto another wall. So I know I need an elbow 
to attach my tubing. So um, I already knew all this going ahead. Um, so I knew all my pieces and this is gonna be, I need five to six outlets, uh, which is gonna allow me to run my 55 gallon wall tank, allowing myself three sponge filter outlets, a small five gallon shrimp tank. So I have an outlet there. And then I can even do another tank here with two extra air stones. Whether I wanna do a tank for uh, just temporary housing fish, I can even do, I have a five gallon tank that has a black background. So I can just put fish in there for pictures for my website, things like that. Um, but all this is kind of in my head. I already know what I need before I have anything going. Um, so this is very important before you buy this stuff, have a plan, know how many air outlets you need, the distance in between them. Um, but that being said, let's go ahead and look at all the actual products that we got. All right, guys, so I'm gonna kind of pull things up and show you here, but I have my, uh, quote, my uh, invoice right here. Um, total for everything, this is gonna power, um, I believe 12 aquariums, uh, 10 plus, and I'm gonna have a lot of extra air outlets. Um, so for 10 aquariums, fully decked out, uh, this is a little bit above and beyond, it was like $250. Um, but just think about, that's the, the pump was 115, so you can compare that to other pumps. All the other stuff combined with shipping was under 250, it was like 249, 247. Um, but this is going to filter multiple tanks. But here I bought the tubing that's going to connect um, all my outlets to each other. Um, so here, the tubing here I bought 15 feet of it and I'm reading off my sheet so I have all these numbers right for you. So if you call and you want to get exactly what I got, you can go ahead and do that. Um, the tubing was 79 cents a foot, I bought 15 feet of it. Uh, so it cost me around $12 and this is the half inch times three quarter inch. Um, so the intake, the inside is gonna be half an inch, the outside is gonna be three quarter inch. And that's kind of what I based everything off of. Um, right here you can see the elbow has the clamps and two foot of hosing. Um, that comes with the air pump. Uh, so two feet, you can subtract that from what you need to buy because that's gonna come with it. Um, what I'm gonna do is the pump is gonna sit in a shelf. This is gonna go up to the roof and then everything's gonna be flush from there out. I did have to buy a T-valve and also these little clamps. Uh, I can take some of this stuff out of the bag so you can see it closer. Um, but all those little fittings, like the T fitting, knowing you need those things, uh, the elbow whenever my wall turns. Um, and I'm just kind of taking this stuff out, a little unboxing for you guys. Uh, this comes with it. This comes with the pump. I had to add that T valve to split it off. Um, it comes with all of these fittings here. Uh, whenever you buy these PVCs with the taps, um, there's going to be um, threads inside there and these already are taped up for you so you thread those on and then that is going to go around your tubing that we have here. Um, one thing that sometimes they forget to mention, uh, I know I bought it last time, are these little clamps. They're pretty cheap. Uh, I believe they are. These are just little clamps you're going to put around the hosing. It's real easy. You put it around. You have to put around the hose before you make the connection then you just pinch them together. That's nice so nothing pops off or comes loose. Um, there we have my elbow piece and these are already ready. Uh, these are end caps. It's important to know whenever the line is going to end. Um, so if I'm running this to another hose to another PVC, it just keeps continuing. If this is the end of the wall where I know it's going to stop the circuit, I'm going to cap it. Um, if you have way too much pressure, say you're running this on 10 aquariums, you want to upgrade to 20. Uh, in the future, you want to get the bigger pump. Uh, they make diffusers so you can have something at the end so it's going to not put too much back pressure on your pump um, but for me i'd rather just double filter every tank and then have a very large pump um, i really like these pumps and if you're going to buy i have them now what i'm running is like a this big it's like a tetra 300 it's only got two little outlets so it has like two of these and i'm filtering like eight tanks on one of those or like four tanks um, so i have to take this and split off even more and more keep splitting off with small tubing it's just kind of a pain and it's not very efficient. Um, but it's important to get all these fittings, make sure you know you need your end caps. Uh, here, this was my tubing I bought. This is a coil only of 500 foot of tubing. Um, sounds like way more than I need because it is, but this was $25, so it is definitely worth it. I, it was not on the official tube, but it's still wrapped up very nice. Um, they said that was on the coil only, but this is actually nicer than I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be like in a bag, kind of a mess. Uh, that's pretty nice that's 500 feet for 25 dollars and that's going to go off all of these and if they ever get hard 
I can just take the whole thing off and replace it um, every year or so, I mean, not even that often. Um, but you have plenty of tubing where you can constantly just do new things with them and then whenever they're bad, just throw them away, don't worry about it, you got a ton of it. Uh, this is like having a store supply in your house, it's pretty awesome. Um, but for these, uh, some of these are already packaged. I bought three of the eight outlets. These two I need to unpack. Um, but you have eight outlets there, and this one here is longer, I, I'll take it out. Um, but there's 12 outlets there. That's gonna go in my 55 gallon tanks. And as for the pump, I'll pull it out. Here's the pump I went with, and this is one I've ran in the past and I loved it. Um, this is a diaphragm air pump, 300 LPM. Uh, it's $115 and all of the air is gonna come out here, uh, right off that two foot tube that it comes with. Um, so this is really nice. I know it's reliable. I know how long it works uh, with zero maintenance. You're supposed to clean these more frequently than I did, um, but it still worked amazing. I had no problems and there's very cheap parts to replace anything once they do go bad. Um, but all in all, I'm gonna show this stuff set up. Hopefully I can tag it at the end of this video, um, but I just wanna get a video out to you guys, kind of updates on the fish room. This is an amazing pump. I know it works really well. Going forward, whenever you're setting up a fish room for the first time, um, it's really hard to know exactly what to get. There's a lot of different things. And sometimes you have to order things two, three, four times till you get it right. Uh, so learn from my mistakes or just from my experience in the fish room. Um, this worked really great for me. It's gonna work well again. Uh, stay tuned for the next video of this all being set up. And hopefully I'm gonna do some videos on I wanna move some tanks. I have an idea for doing a custom background on doing a wall tank. Uh, so I have a lot of ideas in my head. I wanted to show you all the products I got. Uh, so whenever I set everything up, I don't have to go back and talk about too many things all at once. Whenever the tank's up, I'll probably be showing more of the tanks and not about the air system because whenever you're looking at the fish, it doesn't seem as important. But this is kind of the foundation of your fish room. Um, having your air all set up the right way and just not having tubes running from left to right all just unorganized. This is going to look really nice. It's going to be very efficient. Um, so good luck guys if you're setting up a fish room, if you're upgrading a fish room, or you're just kind of curious about the process and what everything costs. Um, this is going to be around $20 a tank for what I just bought in this box and it's going to do a phenomenal job and it's going to be much more than I need um, but also not too much power that I'm damaging any of the equipment. Uh, so thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this was helpful. A little video in between the move. But thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Comment below and please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, stay tuned and I'll see you guys very soon.